Southampton under-18s make the journey to North London this weekend as they take on Arsenal at London Colney. It's a familiar opposition for Anthony Limbrick's side as they face the Gunners for the third time this season. Previous results were a 0-0 draw and a 1-0 win thanks to a Corral Kayembe strike. This time though, Limbrick is expecting a stern test. Yeah, well, we, we know each other probably quite well. We had a, a really tough game there at the start of the season when we drew 0-0 with plenty of chances from both teams, really. But that sort of set us up for a run of games after that where we had some really good performances. So that was our sort of, sort of first real good team performance of the season. And then when we played them at home, I think after a couple of cuff, uh, some tough FA Youth Cup games, we beat them, I think, 1-0 or 2-0 at our place. So that was a really positive performance as well. So we've played well against them twice. and. They're a very uh, a quick and pacey physical team, good on the counter attack, and got some really good individuals. So it'll be it'll be interesting to see one how we defend against that, and two how hopefully we can we can exploit that if they push on and try and attack us, which I'm sure they will. As you've touched on two clean sheets in both those games, is that yeah. something to take into Saturday's game to to know in their minds that they can keep this this side out? Yeah, definitely. I think so. When they've got a lot of attacking talent as well. I think to keep a clean sheet against them is a, is a real positive. So, yeah, we'll take that into into the game. And like every week, we always set out to try and keep a clean sheet up until half-time and then the end of the game. So that'll be our goal as normal anyway. Um, obviously, Arsenal are a very good side. Like, we play Arsenal quite a few times in the season. They're always physical. They always look to play against us, like similar type of football. So, obviously, it'll be a test on the weekend and must-win game, really. They are seen as a big club. Do you thrive under that pressure of playing against them? Uh, yeah, definitely. Like I think everyone in the team gets up for games like this. Like Obviously, we've got a couple of boys, Harley and Feller, that come from Arsenal into our team, so we really do want to win for them. So Arsenal lie bottom of the Barclays under-18 Premier League table. As ever, though, the league is very tight. The Saints sit fourth, but just three points above the Gunners. Midfielder Stuart Wilkin wasn't involved last time the two sides met. But now he's back in and around the team and he's feeling positive about the playoffs and improving his chances of making an impact on the side. Um, well, I find it a good experience, like obviously after injury, getting more game time towards the end of the season, like getting a lot of starts on my belt. Like Obviously, we're looking to win every game and get as high in the playoffs as we can. How frustrating was that injury and to, to miss so much? Um, well, obviously, it's frustrating like to have a weird injury like my wrist and like to miss quite a lot of the games. But then, obviously, it's good for me to get in games towards the end of the season, leading into next season, hopefully be a big influence on the 18s next season. Do you think perhaps that injury has meant you're really fresh heading into the final few games rather than some who have played a lot of football and, and maybe struggling a bit towards the end? Oh uh, Yeah, definitely. I think my motivation's high, like trying to get in the games towards the end of the season that I might have missed out on like instead of the other players, but I think everyone's ready to go for the games and everyone's motivated for every week. You're pro approaching the final few games of the playoffs. How do you assess things so far and, and what are you looking for in the final few games? Well, yeah, the playoff games have been great to play the teams from the northern section, maybe some different clubs like Blackburn and Stoke and uh, Newcastle. So it's been a good experience for the players there and also in this generally sort of the last eight to ten games of the season, blooding in some of the young under-16s who have already been offered scholarships for next season. I think we had three uh, under-16 start, make their debuts in the 18s last weekend and considering that, that was their first game and a lot of them have got exams and haven't maybe trained as much, it was a really good performance for them so it's definitely been good of, of weeks of late to get those 16s involved in preparation for next season. It has been a long season, are you starting to see the effects on some of the players perhaps? Uh, not necessarily, I think that some players who might have been out injured are coming back now and that's probably been a positive for them because if the season was shorter they might not get as much game time. But I think it is always a long season and we, we make sure that we take everything into consideration with the players and when they need to rest and when they need to work hard and that sort of thing. So yeah, I think I think we not you, you sort of tend to at the end of the season just assess them and where they are individually and, and go from there. And you've spoken about the, the 16s being blooded into the squad. Are you already looking at next season? Yeah, of course, yeah. You, you want to see what sort of squad that you've got for next season and where the players might progress and hopefully some of the 18s next season to progress into the 21s as well. And, and, and some of the 16s possibly who are 15s now possibly coming in and affecting the 18s games programme or, or pre-season training as well. So yeah, it is a matter of that. You're always looking ahead and seeing where the players can progress and, and push on.